Hello, this is Efrosine Zonio presenting my reflections on this year's first running session, Technology for Spoken English. During five weeks, participants of T4SE explored, tested and evaluated a wealth of tools proposed by the moderators, assessing how they could add value to their classes and improve their students' learning. To me, the session culminated in a tool which is bound to have my learners so carried away by their enthusiasm that they lose their inhibitions and take part in speaking activities without stress. But I'll defer disclosing the name for now. Inevitably, shortlisting only five tools may not do justice to quite a few of the tools which I explored and are doubtlessly inviolable but I've tried to put myself in my students' shoes to come up with the five apps that I think would be their preferred choices. I must admit that I haven't been able to explore all the suggested apps, so the chances are that given a few more weeks, my top five list might be different. So let me reveal my top five speaking app charts. Number five is British Council English videos. It comprises several series of two to five episodes each with short downloadable videos of up to four minutes, which can then be viewed offline. The dialogues are available as videos and audio files with or without script and are followed by a short comprehension quiz, which is checked on the spot. Interestingly, there's a fast phrasal verb series too to cater for these old chestnuts. With English videos, students are exposed to real-life conversations and native speaker accents wherever they are and can work at their own pace. This app can be used for oral practice too. After summarizing the story, analyzing the events and characters, the conversations can be role-played since the script can be viewed and downloaded. Then students can create their own dialogue and act them out, even produce their own videos in pairs or small teams and get their peers feedback after sharing them. English Videos is a flexible tool that ensures students' engagement and creativity are boosted, as well as their confidence in listening and in speaking. Let's move on to number four. Number four is Talk by Talk English. It offers a wealth of general and business English conversations, offering exposure to useful phrases and functional language in a wide variety of situations. Work is divided in four steps. You listen to the audio with the script and the picture provided. Then you answer a short comprehension quiz with multiple choice questions. Then practice means that you choose one character whose cues you read while the others are spoken by the app. And lastly, you repeat the procedure recording yourself and keeping a log of your recordings if you wish. The bite-sized dialogues can easily be integrated into a lesson. In class, I would pair up students to do the activities of the app. Each tandem would then listen to both their recordings and give each other feedback. Taking the suggestions for improvements into account, they'd then act out the dialogue together and record it. Finally, they create their own variation or extension of the initial dialogue, which will be presented live or recorded to the whole class. And this takes us to number three. Number three is. Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a powerful tool for generating interactive video discussions on a topic proposed by the teacher, the educator community, uh, or the students themselves. The teacher can create groups and topics and submit a prompt for discussion to which students respond with a video. Students can also propose topics and create videos in which their to which their classmates respond. 
With Flipgrid, student engagement and creativity are guaranteed since it enables you to record a video or an audio message and add various engaging effects such as frames, text, photos, videos, or even stick notes, and publish your production to a group straight away. I believe it's excellent for developing students' debating skills. I would divide the class into two groups, the for and the against groups, and ask each student to post a video with a couple of arguments supporting their side of a controversial issue, then to respond to one of the videos that support the opposite side in order to refute the proposed arguments. Students can create spontaneous one-shot videos or polished creations since they can edit their work if they're not satisfied. I believe Flipgrid can effectively contribute to improve fluency and confidence in speaking. Let's go on with number two. And number two is Rocky. With Voki, available on a computer and as an app, students can create an avatar very fast and easily and lend it their own or another voice and accent of their choice thanks to the text-to-speech feature. The avatar feature and the potential to put on a new personality with another voice makes this tool a favorite with even reserved learners. I would ask students to choose one character of a story we have read and impersonate it, describing their daily life, their way of thinking, their feelings, and justifying why they act in the way they do in the story. Then students would share their avatar to the class. Lively discussions can ensure commenting on, comparing and contrasting, agreeing or disagreeing with the perspectives offered by each creation and the light shed on each character. And we've now reached the top of the charts, number one, the ultimate favorite is Toontastic, Toontastic is a delightfully simple video creator which enables even young learners to create animated cartoons, stories or science reports in a few guided steps on the go since it's available as an app. You just select the scene among a variety of appealing adventure locations. You pick and customize readily available characters then you click on start to record your script you select the appropriate background music for atmosphere and your video is ready to export if you're not happy with the result you can edit the story and even record and re-record your script any number of times you can move the animated characters on the screen which acquire a life of their own, this will undoubtedly appeal to students. Toontastic is an ideal tool for collaborative group work. Students will love writing their story and script together, then creating the video, selecting and customizing characters in agreement, re-recording themselves till they're satisfied with the result, and finally, presenting their masterpieces to the rest of the class. This process guarantees a lot of language production, not just for the script, but for negotiating all the choices to be made and invaluable collaborative skills will be developed at the same time. I believe my students will be dazzled by Toontastic to the point of forgetting their apprehension at speaking. Lastly, I'd like to thank our inspired moderators for designing such an attractive and enriching session. I have derived a myriad ideas of activities to enhance my learners' motivation and confidence in their speaking skills. Thank you, Sudarshana. Thank you, Smita. Thank you, Dr. Nelly. Until next year, I hope.